Franklin, hey, have you, like, heard from my dad? Oh, yeah, man, and you should call him. He hasn't been back to the house for a while, and there's some creepy-ass dudes parked outside. Yeah, like I said, man, you should call him. He'll explain all that shit to you. So he's okay? Great. All right, don't tell him we talked. Yeah, all right, man, but call him. So who the fuck don't you like today? Guys called Isaac Penny, ruthless vulture capitalist, about to take a controlling interest in Vapid Motor Company and sell thousands of workers down the river. Penny's uh, one of those tight-fisted billionaires, rides the same bus to and from work every day. I was thinking he could take over the route and... Drop the ass off where he needs to go. I got it. Good. Oh, one thing. If I was you, I wouldn't buy any Vapid stock until the acquisition falls through. What happened to the old bus driver? I really like that guy. You smell like hey, shit. Who farted? Come on, that's disgusting. Well, you're late, late, late. that would be 150. Mr. Penny, ain't it? Bear hike. Forget about it. Spent thrifts. Hey! Claim it on the city! Thank you for riding LS Transit. Where is my movie star? Where is my movie star? Anyone know who this guy is? Is, it, is this the new stun guy? What is the point of building all these sets? We gotta put Brandon's head on the guy's body in post. I'm Please, not paying the excess. I thought I had final approval on all stunt performers. Hey, get get out of the car, insurance didn't sign off on this guy. Get him out. Get Brandon? What is going on? What are you doing? Is this a kidnapping? Pull over, creepo! Get off the wheel! I need to get the fuck out of here! They're coming! Studio security are all over you! Is this an abduction? Nah, nah, you cool? No, I'm not cool. Not at all. I mean, chill out. I'm just interested in the whip. What's this? Spikes? What do you mean? What do you mean, the whip? I could buy this car with what I make in a morning. I think you underestimating the value of this automobile. I overestimating your own talent. Uh, I think you're underestimating what I get paid. You get paid a couple million for a mor morning's work? Shit, I should sack my agent. Yeah, shit. <gasps> Stockholm Syndrome won't work on me, fuckball. Look, I respect you as an artist and a human being, but I got other priorities. Oh my gosh, get me out of here. I've been abducted by a crazed fan. Girl, please. I like some of your... Ah! I like some of your work, but don't get ahead of yourself. What's wrong with you? Didn't your parents... Oh, that's what's up. Didn't your parents love you when you were a child? My dad disappeared. My mom was a, was a crackhead. But that ain't what this about. My parents loved me so much they put me in a little lazy surprise campaign when I was three. Good for you. 
I didn't work till I was 10. You are so going to get the electric chair. This is more lethal injection, gas chamber kind of state. But thank you. People who... People who hurt celebrities are treated worse than pedophiles in prison. And rightly so. Whatever you say. Damn, what's this button do? You're gonna kill me, aren't you? Oh, I'm another sacrifice to the god of celebrity! This ain't a sacrifice. It's a carjacking. Now calm the fuck down. Everyone wants a piece of me. Directors, agents, fans. But you, you've taken the whole thing. This ain't about your ass. It's about this ride. Bullshit, this is about the car. Call the LSPD. The <laughs> You're developing quite the rep there, Slick. Insurance companies hate these kinds of claims. They don't like cats with the inside edge shorten them either. So how'd it go? Smooth enough, you know. Movie people. You know what the irony is? I'm a major shareholder in that same studio, so we just did is practically legal. Ha! Practically. Oh shit! Look at this motherfucker. You doing it big, my nigga, on the set. Lamar, what the fuck are you doing here? Oh, chirped your boy Trevor. It's fucked up when you gotta get your GPS location on your homeboys through a motherfucking speed freak. True that. Devin Weston, master of the two-hour female orgasm. What it is, Holmes? Lamar Davies. He was just leaving. Hey, not on my account. You looking for gainful employment, homie? Hell yeah, I'm always trying to get some motherfucking paper. Just the type of guy I like to work with. Predictable. Hey, we could bring your boy here in on the last part of the shipment. Oh, yeah, nigga, that's exactly what you could do. That's exactly Hell what you yeah. could do right man, there, yeah, man. Exactly. If you want him in, then you get him to boost the rest of the shit you got. Oh. Give me my money and I can go on oh, with my motherfucking oh. life. Oh, no, am I sensing tension here, Slick? <gasps> He's the spirit, but you're the brains. Am I wrong? I can see it. Look, I need you on point when we move this stuff out of town. Yeah, whatever, man. Call me when it's done. And after this, make sure we got our motherfucking check, all right? Ciao, baby. It is what it is. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, come here. I'm gonna put you in touch with my legal counsel. Hey, hey, don't touch me, homie. I don't get down like that. Yeah, let me tell you how the world works, Slim. Where you at, man? Your house is empty. Oh, hey. I had to kind of lay low for a while. Yeah, that nice Mexican we met. Me and T did that job for him, and we fell out. You gotta be joking. I wish I was. So where you at now? <sighs> Desert, out by Alamo Sea. All right, well, I'll hit you if I find anything. Absolutely. Uh, oh, hey. Trevor's got his wife. Trevor's got a wife? No, no, the Mexican's wife. What? <laughs> Shit, I don't know what to say about that one. Nothing. Nothing to say about that. Run! Run! I'm back! Coming, Trevor! Uh, bring me my coffee, I'm gonna cut your arm off. Absolutely! Who the hell's that, your maid? Oh, business partner. Good guy. Very loyal. Ron, Ron, that is Michael. And this is Patricia. <laughs> uh, listen, beautiful. You know, I'm sorry about everything that's happened. And, uh, you know, I can't guarantee no harm's gonna come to you. I might have to chop you up into little pieces before spraying your pulp mess down the drain, but I really hope it doesn't come to that. I appreciate your honesty. You are a good man. I can see that. You need your eyes examined, then. Ron, you miss me? Yeah, Trevor, a bit, I mean. How's the fucking business? I, I, I tried. If you're gonna give me a sob story, I'm gonna rip your fucking throat out and shove a turd down the hole. It's not a sob story. It's just not quite come good yet. But I heard about something to do with Merriweather. Mm, those assholes. Big yeah. cache of weapons they got coming in. So I thought you might want to uh, requisition it. Fantastic. Let's go. I'm in. Whoa, no, 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 not you. Sit down. You're a wanted man. Stay low. Now watch her, okay? 
She's a good lady. Let's go, Ron. Good to meet you, Michael. Fucking come on, let's go! <sighs> what are you gonna do? We're not gonna take out a private army on the ground, Ron. We gotta meet him in the air. I... Uh, okay. Well, look, I knew that you were pissed after the Merriweather heist. Giving back the hardware. That was bullshit! Right. Right. So I've been monitoring chatter, tapping into Merriweather networks. Feels good to be back in the company of a professional. I gotta say, I gotta. Now, I was expecting something a little more impressive. The late, great Michael Townley. Not so late and not so great, right? And no longer called Townley. The years have not been terribly kind. What's the end game, man? We had a good thing going without him. If it's such a good thing, where's my money, huh? Where's my consultant's fee and my big fat dividend? I want a franchise network, Ron. I want reward cards and merchandise. I want to make gun violence and drug dependency accessible to every man and beast from Hove Beach to Vespucci. I want country clubs and a depressed wife with blonde hair and a hot little secretary. Crop duster? That's the best we can do? Get in touch with my Mexican contact. Tell him we got some guns to sell. I'll get you on the CB.
gotta drop, man. They're on their screens. You want me to put my nose into the dirt? Dick? You speak to Oscar? The Mexicans? This deal on? I'll let them know it's in the works. The works? I'm not risking life and limb for a shimmin' eight soul. Are you sure? It's just Oscar don't like getting messed with. Do the deal. The guns are good as ours. They're in Los Santos International Airspace now. You are clear to gain altitude. All righty. Come in, light aircraft. Identify yourself and state your intent. Me? I'm just a lonely guy out dusting his crops. Who are you? Unidentified aircraft. Divert your course or we will be forced to shoot you down. Really? Shoot me down? Well, that seems a little extreme, doesn't it? in your hands. Frequency, over. Ronnie, the cargo jet is now part of the TP Enterprise fleet. You with the Max? Welcoming parties here, Trevor. Fly safe now. These guys! Attention, Meriwether Jet. We are under orders to escort you to base. Change course or we will engage. Or you could diddle yourself! Hey, Ron! So, um, the frickin' Air Force are on me! They deploy jets! Oh, try and fly over them, T. Fly above them! All right! Comply immediately. I'm landing at McKenzie Field. We can discuss this there, on the dirt, like men. Understand the effort I've gone to be here, pal. This is your final warning. Divert 
hurt now or be engaged. Hey! You wouldn't shoot me down anyway! Think of the ground casualties. Authorization process complete. Clear to engage. Eagle 1, Fox 2. Eagle 2, Fox 2. They shot me! You hear me? Oh, your engine's gone! Get out of there, T! You're more valuable than the guns! Controls are useless! Is that any for the dirt? I'm getting a shoot and I'm failing. Okay!